Good morning, guys. Summer here, and welcome back to Greensboro Downtown Yoga. It, I know it's been a while for me personally, having been on, on the channel here, for those of you who follow regularly. It's been a pretty tough May um, in my house. My dad passed away in the middle of May, and so I've kind of been taking some mental time to, to step away, but I'm coming back, and hopefully we'll be able to bring lots more classes um, it's a really tough time in our world right now as well, and I've been thinking a lot about that and just everything going on in my life as well, and I was like, I could take the time today in class to to try to bring some social justice or to, to work through grief or to do all these different things, and then I thought to myself, you know, I really want to take this opportunity to just allow us to disconnect from that. I, I can get sucked down into the social media stream. The next thing I know, I'm like crying and then mad and then all over the place. And I think sometimes we need the opportunity to step away from that. And that's what I want to give you this morning is, is the chance to just step away and to find joy in our bodies and in what we are capable of doing. We don't have control over everything out there going on. And, and while we all want justice and while we all want just things to be better, I don't know if this is the platform that I, I want to do that on right now. So I want to bring you a little bit of joy through movement. So today, this is All Levels Flow. If you haven't had a chance, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell below, and you will be notified anytime we go live on the channel. And, you know, it's crazy that we are now three months into this. It is June. We've been doing this since March when we shut the studio down. And here in North Carolina, for those who are not North Carolina-based, we are still shut down as a studio. Um, we don't get to go back until phase three. So if you still have the means and still feel compelled or empowered or inspired by our stuff and can donate and support to the studio, it still means a lot in this time. So let's go ahead and get started on our mats in a child's pose position. So we're going to start at the back of our mat, toes together, Arms long in front of us. Just allow our head to rest on the mat. Maybe it feels good to let your head move side to side. As we're here, focus in on your breath. What does your normal breath cycle feel like? What can you do to lengthen your breaths? A long, deep inhale through your nose. Let it all go through your mouth. Let go of those fears and worries and thoughts as you inhale become present to the moment with a few more breaths shift to an ujjayi breath which means we inhale and exhale through our nose. We restrict the back of our throat. And as you're here, find an intention, a purpose for our movement practice today. Bring your hands under your shoulders and bring yourself to an all fours position. Let's just move our spine. Start finding a cat and cow position. We move with intention 
we move with breath as we inhale. Exhale, let go of it all. This is such a common position in yoga, this cat and cow. But if you've ever taken the time to really focus on what each vertebrae does during the move, on how your shoulders and your hips respond. To really understand the movement that our body is doing is trying to find this great release in our mid back. Do one more time. Neutralize your back, pull your belly in, extend the right arm forward and left leg back. As you lift up out of your stabilizing hip, feel the reach from finger to toe. Big deep inhale, exhale as you come back down. Other side, find your length. Lift up out of your hip. And come down. Few more times, find the reach. So it's about thinking as if someone were to pull your fingers and your toes long and away from you. Your abs are braced and supporting your back and your body. Last time, each side. Today we're going to move in lots of different positions. We're going to have time here on the ground. We'll have time standing. We're going to find all planes of motion. And that's your opportunity to find joy in movement. Let's press our palms into the mat. Walk them forward till you're in a plank position. Tuck your toes and lift your knees off the ground. Press your palms into the mat as our biceps rotate forward. In this first plank of the day, find the place where you are pressed into the mat. Your glutes are engaged. Big deep inhale. Exhale as we lower our knees, sit back to child's pose. Exhale. Inhale, come to all fours. Lift our opposite arm and leg. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, opposite arm and leg. Come back down. Reach far out. Find plank. Inhale, lift onto your toes. Hold here. Each time, press the biceps forward. Allow that engagement of your upper back. Inhale, exhale, as your knees lower down, child's pose. We're going to get through that flow two more times to generate heat. Lift into all fours, lengthen your right arm and left leg, lift up, inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, the opposite side, you lift out of that side leg. Exhale. Walk your hands forward, find your plank, rotate your biceps, and as you do, squeeze your butt. Find that place where you challenge your position. If this is just way too much and you're finding your hips are lifting or your hips are sagging, go to the knees. It's Monday. Do what your body needs or whatever day you're doing this one. Big deep inhale. Exhale, lower your knees, sit back to child's pose. Last round, and find it in your breath pattern. I'll call a breathing pattern, but if you want to move slower or faster, do it. Inhale, return to all fours. Exhale, right arm, left leg, knee pins. Inhale, lower down as you exhale. Rise back up, find the only exhale long away from you. Lower down, 
Walk your hands forward. Find plank. We're going to change this time. Big deep inhale right here. Exhale to downward dog. First time in downward dog of the day. Allow the heels to drop. The knees to bend. Find the movement in your ankles, your knees. Rotate your biceps so they're forward. Little by little, walk your feet in to meet your hands. Hang over your legs. Sway from side to side or do any movement here that feels good to you. Maybe you want to clasp your elbows and your hands together. Keep your arms long. Come back to center. One vertebrae at a time. Roll back up to the top. Big deep inhales. Your arms reach overhead. Exhale your hands to heart center. With your feet firmly into the ground, settle into this place. Shut your eyes. Do a full body scan. See where you might be holding tension. See if you're holding your breath. As we move through this flow, allow your breath to be your centering focus. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Grab hold of your right wrist, lengthen over to the side. Feel that great side body strength. In, center. exhale, up and over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, halfway rise. In these positions that we're so used to if you're in yoga a lot, find ways to connect in with your body. Forward fold. Hands come to the mat, knees come to the mat. Tuck your toes under so you're in all fours position and lift your knees an inch off the ground. Full break here. Again, biceps rotate forward. Abdominals are tight as your knees are only an inch off the ground. Big deep inhale. Exhale, lower your knees, sit up onto your feet so you push back to make sure all ten toes are connected to the floor right here. Big deep in and up. Exhale, as we hinge forward, hands come back onto the mat. Lift our knees an inch off the ground again. Step your right foot back. Inhale, center. Step your left foot back. Center. Right foot. Notice my hips. They're staying level. Make it with the back. At least they should be. <laughs> Stay center. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Full plank. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. Inhale. Lower your elbows down to the mat. So now you're in more of a dolphin position. Press your palms into the mat as you now lift your elbows and your forearms an inch or two off the mat, just like we were just doing for your knees. Now you should feel this engagement in your upper back, your mid back, and all that back side of your body. Big deep inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, lower the elbows all the way down. Dolphin, hips are high. Arms come an inch or two off the floor. Now, if that is just way too much in your back, please stay here on the ground. Straighten your arms in. Exhale, press back. Walk or jump your feet to the front of the mat. Forward fold over. Inhale, halfway rise as our back goes neutral and long. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to the sky. Be focused. Exhale, hands, hearts. Do that same flow. Inhale, lift your head. Right hand, grab, reach to the side. 
Inhale, center. Exhale, lengthen. Find your movement, your way to engage the body. Inhale, tall. Maybe you get a small back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, hands to mat. Step back to all fours. Push your toes into the ground as your knees lift two inches off or one inch. Step your right foot back. Come center. Left foot back. Center. Bend your knees so they're on the ground. Push back. Big deep inhale. You're getting movement into your feet right now. Find this long hinge out your body. And ooh, maybe you have that kind of slow motion movement. Lift your knees an inch off the ground again. Right leg. How tight are your abs? Can you pull them in? Chest a little bit more. Step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, your elbows lower. Dolphin. Inhale, turbo dog. That's where our elbows lift an inch off the ground. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, turbo dog. Oh, you feel that upper back engagement. Inhale, down dog. Walk or bend your knees, sever, jump your feet to the front of the mat. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Rise to the sky. Press your feet to the mat. Exhale, hands, heart center. This time, maybe you shut your eyes. See if you can make this a little different. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Leave in the right arm. Come back to center. By shutting our eyes, we eliminate that external focus. And we become solely engaged on what's going on inside our body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Press your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, down. Step back to all fours. Toes tuck under. With the eyes shut, lift your knees an inch off the ground. Notice how you get more engagement into your body. Step your right foot back. Come center. Left foot back. Come center. Lower your knees. Push back to your heels. Sit up tall. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. With focus here, with your eyes shut, it can be a little tricky to come back to all fours. Land your hands in that same place. Lift your knees off the mat. Inhale, step back to plank. Exhale. Downward dog, exhale. Rotate your biceps forward as you inhale. Exhale as you lower your elbows to the mat. Forward, dolphin. Inhale, turbo dog. So with turbo dog, we have to press our hands into the mat. Bend your knees if you're finding that your legs are, or your hamstrings are preventing you. And inhale as we come to downward dog. Exhale, dolphin. One more time. Inhale, turbo dog. Exhale. Your eyes are shut. You are internally focused. Press your hands and arms long down dog. Inhale. Bend your knees. Step or jump to the front of the mat. Exhale. Inhale, halfway rise. Find your long and lengthen back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to the sky. When your eyes are still shut. Exhale, hands, heart center. One more time. I'm going to do as minimal cueing to allow you the joy of movement. Inhale, arms overhead. Right wrist, lengthen. Inhale, center. Left wrist. Eyes are open, eyes are shut. It's your choice this time. Inhale. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Step back to all fours. You do this at your breathing path. Lift your knees off the mat. Right leg back. Inner, center. Left leg back. Center. Knees down. Sit back. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, come back to all fours. Knees up. Step back. Plank. Exhale, down low. Inhale. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale, turtle dolphin. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, dolphin. Keep your hips high. Inhale, turbo dog. Inhale, down dog. Bend your knees. Step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, Inhale, lift. As you come to center, bring your right leg off the floor. Find this moment of standing balance. Maybe it feels good to let your hands come to heart center. Maybe you want them all the way down by your side. Wherever you choose to be, push your left foot into the mat. Big deep inhale. Exhale, reach. Press your leg back. We find this long, neutral place, just like we were. Think of this as that same place as the opposite arm and leg, that pointing dog earlier. Big deep inhale, come to center. Exhale, press back. Full dynamic balance. Press your foot on the ground into the mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale, press. Bend your, your left knee. Bend into it deep. Step your foot back as we find our crescent position. First lunge type pattern of the day. Reach your arms high to the sky. Maybe you get a little back bend, or maybe you stay neutral and tall. Your choice. Breathe. Be here, be present in the moment. With that, check your front knee. Is it over the center of your front foot? Big deep in. Exhale, warrior two. With warrior two, we're in that long stance. Our front heel is in line with either our back heel or instep. It's kind of what feels good to you. Sink lower into your front leg. Inhale, reach forward and then lengthen back to warrior, to reverse warrior, sun warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Rotate our back arm around. Come back into crescent. Inhale as you deepen into that. And then exhale, push into your front leg and find your long warrior three. Inhale, come center. Exhale, foot comes down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Roll yourself up as you do with your left leg. Again, find this place where we push our foot into the floor, lengthen up out of your standing hip. Balance can sometimes be the most mentally challenging because we give up on it so a lot of times. And we're like, oh, my balance sucks, and we grab hold of the nearest something. Be okay if you're tipping and tottering. Exhale as we lean back into warrior three, because that's the opportunity to gain the strength in our feet, our ankles, our calves, and our legs to enhance our balance. 
Inhale, tall. Exhale, back. Balance is just another tool. However, it's one of the most important. It is the foundation of what we do. Back. Hold this next one now. Bend your front knee. Bend deep into it. Inhale. Exhale as you step your back leg and reach for crescent. Sink low into it. Press this front hip forward so you should be feeling the stretch into your front hip. As we look up to the sky, find movement in our neck. It's a joint that we oftentimes forget about. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Press out with your front leg. Find that engagement into your hips. Inhale as you reach forward. Exhale, lengthen back. Shoulders down away from ears. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale as your back arm sweeps around. Find crescent. Lean into your front leg. Big deep inhale. Step back to warrior two. Or excuse me, warrior three. Come all the way up. And your foot comes down. A little different now. Big deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, hands come to mat, step back to all fours and lift your knees two inches off the mat. Step back to plank. Exhale, downward dog. I like that little transition because it makes our abdominals work a little different. Inhale, turbo dog. Exhale, so you go straight into that place where your elbows are lifted off the mat. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, turbo dog. Inhale, down dog. Lift your right leg off the mat. Three-legged dog. Press your hips so they're square to the floor. Bend your knee. Bring it into your nose. Find that deep contraction and connection as you slowly move your foot to come between your front hands. Lift up for crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Sweep around. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior three. It's a balance challenge moment. Be in the moment. Lift up. Inhale. As your foot comes down, exhale, forward fold, other side. Inhale, halfway rise. Have some fun with this. Be here in the moment as you step back to all fours. Push your knees in. This will become important for those who might do uh, yoga sweat or yoga sweat either tomorrow. Step back to plank. Exhale, down and dog. Inhale. Exhale, turbo dog, elbows off the mat. Remember, you could always go to dolphin. Please do if that feels more appropriate in your body today. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, turbo dog. Inhale, down dog. Lift your left leg, three-legged dog. Keep your hips square. Maybe your standing leg bends so that you don't get that dump into your lower back. Exhale, bring your knee into your nose. I want this to be slow. Find that slow connection as you bring your foot in between your hand. Then lift up, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Sweep your back arm around in. Lean into your front leg. Reach and then take flight. Rise up. Inhale. We're going to do that again. We're going to add into it. 
Exhale, forward fold. Be strong in this long lengthened back. Exhale, step back, all fours again. Lift your knees. Plank, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, turbo dog. Inhale, rise, three-legged dog. Right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Pull it in. Pull in tight, 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 tight. Now step your foot in between your hands. Reach up, press it. Warrior two, exhale. Lengthen back, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Sweep around, crescent. Push into your front leg. Okay, we're adding on right here. Find this long line. Now stand up tall. Inhale. Exhale, you're gonna forward fold with this right leg, or left leg lifted, half split. Now maybe if you have blocks, you want blocks, I forgot to give that option. You can bend your front knee, do what you need right from here and stand in half split. You may not be in a full split, you'll notice I definitely am not because I am very tight today. But you do what you need to do. Big deep inhale. Exhale for this Jiva squat where we tuck our knee behind our other and then lift up. Maybe your hands come to your chest as we go down and up. It requires more balance, but it takes some of that forward fold necessity out. Bend and rise. And that's kind of where I feel today is appropriate on my body. Not feeling like the forward fold is my friend right today. Hold right here. Inhale. Step back, warrior, or crescent. Ooh, that was ugly. <laughs> Sometimes it is, right? Be with your body. Inhale. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. New move. Exhale to extended side angle. Find this place where we reach our arm long. Press your arm into your leg. I have to look with your arm on your leg versus down here on the mat because oftentimes we start to hunch. And I want us to be open. If you can see the back side of my body, see how expansive I am. That's where we want to be. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, our hands windmill beside our foot. Step your right foot back. Three-legged plank. Three-pointed plank. Hold. Hold. Big deep inhale. Lower your foot down to the mat. Maybe you keep it off to your toes. Exhale, chatter on. It's our first one of the day. Elbows by the side of your body. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward dog. Ah, press your hands into the mat. No turbo dog, nothing like that right now. Just enjoy downward dog. Maybe that means you bend your knees. Return your mind's focus to your body right now. What are you feeling? Lift your heels high. Bend your knees. Step or jump to the front of the mat. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, forward fold. To the other side. Lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rest. Exhale, hands down to the mat, knees on the floor, lift them up two inches. You know this little beast position. Engage it with your biceps forward. Set back, left foot, right foot, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, turbo dog. Pull those elbows or shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, hands. Press into the mat, down dog. 
Exhale, turbo dog. Feel the engagement of your upper back, those postural muscles that are so important. Inhale. Lift our left leg, three-legged dog. Find that rise. Pull the knee into those. Tight, 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 tight. Step. Rise. Warrior two. Reverse. Or two. Sweep your back on. Crescent. Be focused. Inhale. Lengthen into your front leg. Exhale. Rise tall. Now we'll take that swan dive right down into standing half split. You find that way that works in your body. Big deep inhale. Exhale, forward fold, leg goes high. Jiva squat, move your hands on floor right here, or hands at heart center. Two different challenges. Balance challenge with our hands lifted, hamstring challenge with our hands on the ground. So two different places. Let's hold the next one up. Big, deep inhale. Exhale as we come all the way up. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, rise back up. I messed that up. I apologize. It happens as is life. Reach back. Let's step our foot back. Inhale, rise. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, lengthen our hand onto our front leg. Find extended side angle. Again, feel openness in your chest as you lean down into the place, into the pose. This hip is pressed down just like I was saying in the Different places we've been today, the pointing dog, downward dog, three-legged dog. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, windmill your hands beside your foot. Step your foot back, hovering plank. Hold. Press your palms into the mat. Rotate your biceps forward. With your leg lifted or on the ground, lower yourself down from your Elbows by your side, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold right here. We have one more little variation on that. Press your hands down. Lift both your heels. Bend your knees, step or jump to the front of the mat. Be engaged in the center of your body. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Lift your right leg. Hold. Find this strong line. Lift up out of your hip. Big deep inhale, this leg that's lifted is going to cross behind and you tap your toe. You reach your arms to the leg. So we reach tall, I'm going to do it facing you. Reach tall and then we find that rotation. Inhale, so you're getting this little spiral in your body. That's what I want you to feel, is that spiral and rotation. This standing leg is kind of doing the same thing it was doing in that Jiva squat, right? You think about it. One more time. Come all the way up, big deep inhale. Exhale, forward, forward foot comes down. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, hands to mat, step back to all fours. Hold it right here. Eye that hold. Press your knee or your hands into the mat. 
Lower your knees to the ground. Lift up, remember this from earlier. Big rise, inhale, but now reach back to your back foot. Yeah. So right hand, right foot. Lift up high, inhale. Left hand, left foot. Now maybe you can't reach your foot and you just reach your thigh. That's okay. It's about pushing the hips forward and finding some arch in our back. Inhale. Exhale. As we come forward, we come down to all fours. Ooh, abs have to stay tight there. Step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, press palms into the mat. Exhale, turbo dog. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, turbo dog. Find that engagement of your upper back, guys. Inhale, down dog. Press your hands into the mat and lean back. Exhale. Right leg, three legged dog. Exhale, step your foot in between your hands. Rise up, press in. Hands, heart center. Bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Push into your hand. Now, I'm having some issues in my back right here, so I'm not going to be able to get quite as much rotation as, as I would like and as you might be able to get. So I'm going to stay kind of more forward right here. It was actually in the emergency room last week. Um, it's been, like I said, it's been a tough month. Um, yeah. So wait, I'm okay. Well, can't twist it so much. Inhale, arms reach out. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, when, or excuse me, back, sweep back around to crescent. Inhale, bend into that front leg. Find and fly. Let's go straight in. Big inhale, reach up. And then swan dive over. Find your half split. Two times, Jiva squat. Inhale. Exhale. Find your place. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Everyone come up to warrior three, hands at heart center. Big deep inhale, bend your front knee, step back to press it. Ooh, yeah, find that balance, find the wobble. Warrior two, reverse warrior. Window your hands beside your foot, step back. New move right here, keep that leg lifted as we rotate to the side for side plank. Now maybe our foot comes onto the ground, or maybe it lifts. Maybe we come into this type of tree place. I don't know where your body is, but you do. Be okay trying something new. Inhale as we turn around. Can you keep this arm off the ground as long as possible? Shoot your arm through, inhale. Now exhale, reach back to down dog as your arm crosses you to your opposite leg. You find that little bit of spiral. Notice this version has been a little bit more about the spiral, and that's been my intention. Inhale, forward to plank. Lower your hand down, or excuse me, press oh, chaturanga, or down dog, your choice. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, fold. Hang here, hang out in your forward fold. Just kind of notice where your body is. We're going to do that one more time. We have to do it on the left side, right? So let's allow our body this chance to just relax before we push it to that final moment. Inhale, let's reach up, bring your left leg up off the ground. Ooh, push that foot into the ground, exhale, cross your body for that dance position. See the, it's, I just lost it, oh well. Exhale, come back up, your foot pushes into the ground. You reach 
reach your arms high in. Exhale, cross. Find your abdominals. Squeeze your butt. Use your body in a way that maybe is different for you. Maybe you've never done this position before. And so it's a chance for you to explore the newness. One more time. Inhale, center. Lift your leg. Exhale, forward fold, both feet on the ground. Inhale, halfway rise. Exhale, step back to all fours. Can you come to where the knees are directly off the floor? Maybe you can step right into that. Lower your knees. Inhale, lift up high. Left hand reaches to your left heel. Push your hips forward in the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now use this momentum, but control to come to all fours. Step back to plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Exhale, turbo dog. Your elbows press down. You know this move by now. Be here in it. Inhale, press up, down dog. If you've never done turbo dog before today, Exhale as you press down. Be focused on how your elbows pull in towards each other. Inhale, press back to down dog. Lift left leg, three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale as you step your foot in between hands. Rise up. Inhale. Exhale. Let's find a little bit of rotation. Push into your hands. So what I mean by that is when you push these two hands together, it starts to open your chest. So when you're in that spiral and you push your hands together, you open your chest and you can get a little bit more rotation and look over your back shoulder. Inhale, press up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sweep back to crescent. Exhale, crescent. Find that lift. Rise all the way up. And let's swan dive over. Last time you have to do that today. Two times, Jiva squat. You find your place where it feels good. Or maybe where it challenges you more. Nice. And those arms, big, deep in. Now, everyone, hands heart center. Then reach your arms forward as you step your leg back. Find crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Wind on your hands back beside your foot. Step your foot back. Three pointed plank. Cover on your plank, whatever you want to call it. Rotate around to side plank. Now, you can always have one knee on the ground as well. It's a beautiful place and a beautiful option, especially if you're starting to feel too much into the shoulder or your side body is just not wanting to stabilize you anymore. Inhale as we circle around to the front. Reach your arm forward and then exhale down dog. Reach your hand to that opposite leg. Find the spiral. Inhale as we come forward. Exhale, hand to plate. Lower down, shut on the up dog. <sighs> Lift our heels high, bend our knees, step or jump to the front of the mat. Find our forward fold and just drag dog Maybe that's with your elbows, maybe it's with the arms straight. 
I've always preferred my arms straight in this position. I find when I hold my elbows, that starts to let my shoulders come into my ears. And when I let my arms be straight, it's just a total relaxed place. Come back to center. In your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time until we are standing. Ah, I hope you enjoyed that little flow. We're not quite done, but we're doing major big stuff. So big deep inhale. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway around. Exhale, forward, forward. Step your right foot back so you're in long, low lunge. Your hands are by your foot. Maybe our back knee comes to the ground. I have no idea why. I've asked numerous people over the years and biomechanically, I can't figure it out. But when I'm in this position, my back knee hurts to be on the ground. So it's much more comfortable for me to stay lifted. I don't know if it's just something with how my my anatomy is, and you might find something similar, like maybe with your knee off the floor is super uncomfortable. You do what works for you. Take your right hand, place it to the inside of your foot, rotate as we look over our back shoulder. Again, remember I'm having trouble with this rotation, so I'm not going to be quite as open as I would like to be, and as I normally could be, but hey, as is the joys of life, we have things like that every day. Bring our foot, our, excuse me, our hand back down. Everyone lower your back knee down. Sit back to your knees, half split position. And then we shift forward. If you have blocks or something available to you, it's really nice to bring the ground a little higher and be in this more lifted position. I chose not to pull out blocks today, but you might have them available to you and want to do that. We're going to stay forward on our next time. Bring this foot down and find a pigeon position. So pigeon has our front knee out to the side. This front shin, the more parallel it becomes to the edge of this mat, the deeper your stretch will become. So if you're like me and you're kind of tight into those hips and everything, you can sit in then that's where you want to be as you more folded in. You have options with this back leg as well. It can bend, so you're in more of this 90-90 position, or it's tucked under. Where you are, I want us to stay high in this position today. Yeah, am I, when I'm kind of feeling bummed out, I sit and watch a lot of crack television, do I know it's my healthy? Absolutely, but it's my best. Um, and right now it's been uh, next food network star. That's, I like reality competition shows. But I think that's probably why my hips are just so tight because I've been sitting on the couch for a lot. And you might have been as well, maybe for different reasons than me, but we all have something. Now take our back legs, sweep it around so it hooks over our front knee. And that's that kind of position. Bring our left elbow around our right knee and then rotate as we look over our back shoulder. Press your hand into the mat as you start to rotate. That's that same idea I talked about pushing your hands together. If you push your hand down the lift of your spine, you can get a little bit more rotation. back to center, this left leg, or excuse me, your right leg is now in front. We're going to step back and find your long, deep lunge on the other side. Remember, back knee can be on the floor or it can be lifted. Find the left hand on the inside of your foot. Open up to the side of the room.
Come back to center. Re-square yourself. Push the knee on the back leg down. And let's move back and forth in our half split dynamic. You know, sometimes in movements like this where we're not continuously flowing and focused in is when our mind starts to drift. It's when our minds might start to go to negative places or maybe to the to-do list you have to do today. And it's so important, even when we're moving slow, to be focused and let's stay forward. Let's find our pigeon. And I'm purposefully having us do a high pigeon so that we're not just dumping over, but we're finding that lift of our chest, community hip strength. Which, so yeah, when we're here in these places where you have to hold, just remember sometimes it's the silence, it's death thing. It's stillness and silence. Stillness in your body is like silence in your mind. Just find that way to focus on what you're feeling and use your breath as a way to detract from the, from the to-do lists and the wandering monkey brain. Reach back, let that back leg circle around, cross over. Bring your elbow around your knee. Walk and rotate over your back shoulder. And you might have noticed I just did that. I went to my knuckle instead of my palm. It gives me just a little bit more height so that I'm not dropping down. Because again, this is my side that really is still bothering me. Um, but that I can lift up a little bit more because even though it's only a couple inches, that couple inches of height makes a difference. So you might be the same. Yeah, you know, it may not be exactly what the yoga anatomy books or the yoga technique books tells us. Sometimes we have to do right on our body, right? Let's come back to center. Bring both feet out. Sit up super tall. Then roll ourselves down one vertebrae at a time until our back is on the ground and our knees can hug off. Give ourselves just a moment to shift side to side. Open your arms out to the side. Let your knees fall to the one side, look over your opposite shoulder. Come back to center. Exhale, go to the opposite side. A great time to allow the eyes to shut, to return to that internal focus. Bring our knees back to center. Extend our legs long. Hands come by our sides. And for this last few moments here, I encourage you to stay with me and find Shavasana. I know that sometimes it's really hard that you're wanting to press pause and pack up your mat. Just trust me, I do it when I'm doing yoga at home too sometimes. I'm giving you 60 seconds right here to let your mind and your body completely and totally let go.
the attention back to your fingers, to your toes. Let them wiggle around. Feel the individual space between each finger and toe. Reach your long arms long overhead. Find that link. Hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself that gratitude hug. Roll to one side. And let's push ourselves to see. Finish in this tall seated position. Keep your eyes open or shut. Encourage you to go through the rest of this day with an internal focus. It can be so upsetting sometimes to be so externally focused. And while, while some days we just need that time to know what's going on in our body, and how can we take and be here for us in those days? Until next time, I'm Sam. Thank you.